Good morning. How you doing? Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm annoyed. Um, but, um, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Um, some people could argue with me. Yeah, Jess, you need, this is bad. You need to fucking do something. You need to get a restraining order. You need to get a gun. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I probably should get a restraining order. Just for my own peace of mind. But I got like a lot of people sending me a lot of bullshit right now. And people really trying to fuck me up. Um. And then I have other people who, um, I think are, are actually trying to fuck me up, but they're a little more crafty about it. And, um, it, it, I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I don't have the, I just don't even have, like, the desire to deal with it anymore, honestly. I just don't, because... I feel like I put in a lot of work. People don't understand. Like, they treat me like however they want to treat me. But I always act how I am. Like, I'm not... I may act a little... I may act a little, like, uh, uncertain... Because there's, like, that, like, my mind and my heart are arguing with each other about, like, what's, what, what I should be doing or why am I dealing with these people or this person. And, um, I've been, like, my whole life I've been so emotionally fucking ravaged. You know, when people who don't fucking want good things for you, when people want to manipulate you and hurt you and use you and take all their crap out on you, um, but they are also the people that, like, brought you into the fucking world, <laughs> they're the people you came out of. You know, and I made peace with this a long ass fucking time ago, right? I made peace with it in my own self anyway. Yeah, these people are fuckers. Yeah, these people are dark fucking witches. Yeah, these people um, are doing whatever they can to fucking undermine you and your relationships with everybody. Yeah, these people have done everything they could to alienate you from the rest of the family. All your childhood friends, even your husband and your children, they tried to fucking get in between you and them. And in certain ways they did. In certain ways they did. Because they fucking decided to team up with a bunch of people on the internet that I thought were cool. And then these people on the internet are a bunch of fucking jealous bitches and don't understand, I'm in a real fucking intergalactic fucking war that I've been battling with these people for fucking eons. And people wouldn't go this hard against me if I didn't have some important fucking work here. And, um... And that's the problem. They don't want me to do the work. You know? And they keep putting... These fucking, they, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much money they spent on attacking me so far. Like, honestly, I know it sounds fucking crazy. I know it sounds fucking crazy, but these people, there's fucking, I got one, co I have like multiple covens, which is like other people could call them like groups of stupid fucking bitches, but they're basically covens and they're not just women, right? I got one coven working against me because, um, my fucking, 
because somehow through all of this, well, they're all working against, I'll tell you what, they're all working against me because I have the ability to still, like, come back from shit. I was supposed to die. Like, this internet fucking coven in cooperation, like, multiple internet covens and my fucking family did major shit to me two years ago around this time. In 2019, in at towards the end of October in 2018, I mean 2019, um, they did major work against me. And that landed me in the hospital a few weeks later. Um, everybody, everybody was working against me. So... Then I was in the hospital for three weeks and um, I started doing like I was better, like I was getting better and I was like, all right, okay, I can see a way out of this and blah, blah, blah. And they brought me to this fucking human trafficking fucking pipeline stop, which was what they, they, um, they shrouded that in this, like, oh, it's a battered women's shelter, even though I wasn't battered, but I was, like, emotionally and financially abused and, like, a lot of different stuff, but it's all right. That's not the point of this. Um, but, so when, like, I needed to go get out of the hospital, and, um, and I was just at that point, like, yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to that house. I'm not going back to that relationship. I'm not going back to that. So they sent me to, um, because I was like, fine though. I was like, fine. That's a fucking thing. It's like, once I was like in the hospital and like out of that fucking environment that had been magicked, um, I was good. They didn't try to put me on any fucking medication when I was in the hospital. Um, they fucking liked me and appreciated me. And, um, and I could see I'm not fucking crazy. Yeah, I got some bad fucking, I got some shitty fucking coping mechanisms. And, um, yeah, there's certain things I need to, I, I, I have unhealed fucking PTSD, <laughs> complex PTSD. There's things I need to work on. And a lot of those things I did work on in the hospital and they're like, okay, man, you know, like you're good. You gotta go. And they sent me to this battered women's shelter where you're not supposed to tell anybody where you are, it's a secret location, all this shit. It was fucking scary. It was fucking scary. Like, I knew where I was. I knew where it was. Like, when I got there, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. But this is supposed to be some fucking safe haven for people, and it was the scariest house on the whole fucking street. There was, like, holes in the wall. The place was dirty inside, except for the organizer, like, the manager or whatever. Her office was filled with about probably a good $600 worth of Republic of Teas. Like, did I just walk into a Republic of Tea, like, tasting room or something? Like, what? Um, there's, like, crackhead fucking women, like, sizing me up. In this place. Then there's this old fucking other lady who was so happy to fucking see me, but the look on her face was like, yeah, you're not going to be here long. <laughs> and, um, I was like, yeah, I'm not staying here. I'm not fucking staying here. I'm not staying here. But they tried to, they tried to get me then, you know, I ended up going, I ended up going back to my house and having like another like round of attacks on me. And then I ended up back in the hospital again. Um, these people, these people, like some of these people, they did like fucking, they did witchcraft on everything that I and my ex like were able to accomplish without them. They did witchcraft on it. And, um, and they cursed us. And they cursed us because I walked away from my family. I walked away from my land. Not my house, but my land. I had a camp that I lived at with no electricity for a long time. 
um, yeah, but, um, and then I ended up back in the fucking hospital again, and, um, you know, and at this point, at this point, it's like, I can't just blame, at this point, I can't just blame my family, I have to, I have to put, like, I have to put, like, credit where it's due, it wasn't just my grandparents, it wasn't just my parents and my brother, um, this was beyond this at this point, now this includes soul group, um, and jealous fucking bitches who think that I didn't go through shit and I'm just this fucking happy little fucking white lady, middle-aged white lady who, like, who, who do I think I am? Like, that, this is their fucking place or whatever. And then start a bunch of fucking lies and shit about me and start doing magic on me. Um, yeah. And then my fucking but I was, like, paid attention to and um that's no good we can't have that and that's where it all started was because fucking dolo paid attention to me and liked my fucking pictures on instagram and that pissed off some little fucking bitches who wanted attention and felt that they deserved it more than i did um so anyways what i believe to have happened is that my like family enemies hooked up with these newfound um other enemies and they're very listen my 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 people have money my people are all about money that's like all they care about is money they use money to fucking manipulate everybody um so if you're somebody who's a fucking broke bitch and you are like striving for on your fucking hustle trying to get shit going of course you're gonna fucking you know bend over your big fat ass for some fucking greedy fuckers to come and manipulate you it's just how it works you know so but it wasn't just them it wasn't just these internet people and it wasn't just my family because I've also had this other fucking whole group of people these other two there's at least two other fucking covens that are working against me and these have to do with politics okay this has to do with fucking the Republican Party in Vermont. This has to do with Phil Scott, who is the governor of Vermont. This has to do with Patrick Leahy, who um, I've confronted, uh, you know, um, in in different places. <laughs> and um, some of these people you just gotta fucking meet in person so that you understand these are fucking demons. These are demons. These people are demonic. These people are demonic. And, um, you know, I've seen this guy doing magic rituals on fucking election day at the fucking polling place. Why, why you gotta be at the polling place where I'm at? Really? Really? You and your wife and Carolyn. Oh, fucking... Yeah. So anyways, um, and, and this started, and this was another thing, this, this, these, these people have been on my ass for a long time, but it wasn't until fucking Patrick Leahy's, like, little side piece there, Carolyn, um, come to find out, like, I, these people who I've been enemies with that I thought were my friends when I was a little kid, um, these are people that my fucking family turned against me, and, my unhealed fucking shit made me like a little bitch when I was a teenager. I'm not gonna fucking say I wasn't a fucking bitch, but I don't know who, how, I think there's a lot of people out there that fucking have issues when you're a kid and when you're a teenager and then you develop like certain coping mechanisms and so anyways but these people all these people all my childhood friends they fucking hate me I don't have anybody that is my childhood friend that fucking isn't against me in some way shape or form is that my fault in some ways yeah you know and I'm sorry for being mean to people when I was younger like I just had a lot of shit that I was coping with at home and I didn't know how to fucking deal with it. And the only defense I ever had was my mouth. That's all I ever had was my mouth, you know? Um, like Chiron Aries. So, but, um, 
but yeah, so, um, and then I had a bunch of fucking, even when I was working on the Ron Paul stuff, I had a bunch of people, even within that fucking organization, working against me. Working against me. Because of fucking rumors and shit and problems that fucking, anytime my family would see anybody else giving me, like, attention, um, they did not really like that. Like, they did and they didn't. If they could fucking take some credit for it in some way, then it was okay. But if they couldn't, then they had to work against me. And go behind my back. And also, I just want to say that a lot of this is because I was physically, mentally, emotionally, psychically, and sexually abused by my family when I was a child. Um... And even um, I was put into very dangerous situations by my mother when she was under the influence of drugs. Um, she put she she put us both. She put me and my brother both in dangerous situations because she has issues. She's a drug addict, and she's been a drug addict for twenty years at least, at least. Um, she dabbles in witchcraft. She hides it behind Catholicism. Um, the fucking stupid thing. The, here's the stupid thing. Is that, like, they tried to fucking end me. Like, they tried. They tried. They did everything they could. That's why they reached out to fucking these fucking assholes on the internet, on YouTube. And that's why they connected with these people. Because they needed more fucking... They need more fucking talent to work against me. And they know that it has the talent that they have working against me has to be somebody that I fucking am affiliated with in some way, shape, or form. Or that I like. Or that shows me positive attention. They have to take that and they have to turn it around and fucking hurt me with it. And um, I could be totally delusional about all this stuff, but I don't think I am. Like, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. And so, like, not only are these people, like, specifically working against me for pay, there's also, like, a whole other, like, side. Like, there's all these, like, asterisks <laughs> next to these people. Like, if I had, you know, like, one of those, uh, you know, on TV when they show, like, the person and they're trying to figure out something and they got this string going to this one and they got this string going to another one and they got all this stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah. But then they try to fucking, then they try to fucking send Joe to me and try to fuck me up with this guy. And this guy actually has taken me off my game for like two years now, almost two, like a year and a half since I got out of the hospital. This guy is taking me off my game. But in other ways, I'm like spiritually developed. Like I couldn't have gotten a lot of the, like I have really learned a lot this shit ain't over, okay? It's like full moon. Um, and I'm, I don't know, you know? I like to think that if I just... I like to think that if I just stay strong and I keep acting in my integrity and I don't fucking... Then I just... I stay true to my word. I don't fucking give in. And that's part of the problem that I've had with this guy before is like I fucking feel for people that have issues. I feel for people that have issues. Why? Because I fucking grew up in a shitty environment that looked fucking perfect on the outside. I was gaslit my entire life. Everybody around me was gaslit. My entire fucking life. Oh, I got the Benetton rugby. Oh, I got the fucking video games. Oh, I got, like, and it was mostly fucking clothes. And what people don't even understand is that, like, my mother, in order for me to get those clothes, I had to go, I went shopping with my mother, and we would go shopping for hours. And she would just take me, and I would have to, like, change clothes. We'd be in the dressing room together. It was all about her fucking critic looking at and criticizing my fucking body, okay? And then when I get home from all that... Then, uh, you know, if I didn't act a certain way, if I didn't, like, fucking suck shit up and if I took, like, all the abuse, then I would get to keep the clothes. But 
most of the time she just fucking returned half the shit on me anyways because it was too much money that she didn't have and it caused problems with my dad. So then when the money situation would get too stressful, she would blame it on me. Oh, I gotta have all these clothes. I gotta have this. I gotta have that. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Then he'd fucking beat the shit out of me. And I'm not, I'm talking about, this is something that happened when I was eight years old. This is something that happened when I was 10 years old. Like, I'm just giving you examples. This is something that happened to me when I was fucking 19, 18 years old. Okay? This man would fucking run me down, chase me, literally chase me, chase me, okay? So if you want to know why, Joe, okay, like, I'm not answering your fucking phone calls, I blocked your number, you're fucking chasing me, okay? You're traumatizing me. We've talked about this before, you know what you're doing, you're doing it on purpose is all I can think, okay? But this man would fucking chase me yank my fucking pants off, my fucking underwear, throw me on the fucking bed or throw me over his, or, or pull me down over his lap and smack my fucking bare ass, okay? This is, I was a fucking adult this man did this shit to me, okay? While my mother's standing in the fucking doorway in her fucking, with her hands in her pockets of her fucking nightgown, house coat is what she calls it in her house coat in her hands in her fucking pockets in her fucking house coat and then he, at, when I can't walk when I can't sit when I can't fucking when I'm just a fucking blubbling fucking mess on the fucking on my stomach somewhere they go in their bedroom and fucking shut the door you know These people are sick. I was told when they ran me off the fucking mountain that um, I couldn't talk about my life. That that was their dirty laundry. That's what they're trying to shut up. And what they don't understand is if they would just fucking leave me alone and let me do the fucking stuff I need to do. But they don't want that. That's why they were destroying me from the very fucking beginning. They knew who I was since I was before I was born. They knew what I was. So they want to send these fucking crack fucking crack ho fucking bitches at me to fucking destroy me. And then, like, these people actually think they're doing a good thing by working against me. Like, the people that they, that they like... Um, recruit to help them with their shit they think that um that they make these people think they're doing a good thing they make these people think that I'm a fucking demon they tell them lies they tell them they tell them they talk about me as if I'm fucking 16 years old I'm 47 years old I walked away from these people. I finally realized it when I was 38 that I needed to, I couldn't, I could not let my kids be around these people anymore. Ask, you know, this is because it's fucking, what is it called? Um, oh, Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome. And they're my family, you know? So I like try to figure out like, I never fucking worked this shit out, but